Hi friends, this is Sayyad Reshma Sharif. In this video, we are going to discuss about even and odd signals. Even signal. A signal x of t or x of n are said to be even x of t or x of n are said to be even if the symmetrical about the origin. It is symmetrical about the origin. Once again a signal x of t or x of n are said to be even if it is symmetrical about the origin. It is symmetrical about the origin. Okay. Here x of t is a continuous time signal. Whereas x of n discrete time signal. A continuous time signal or a discrete time signal is said to be even if the signal is symmetrical about the origin that is x of t, x of minus t is equal to x of t for, for all values of t. Whereas x of n is equal to x of minus n is equal to x of n for all values of n. Whereas Let us take an example Let us take an example for this even signal Example for an even signal is This is the example of continuous time signal so i will observe from the origin from this origin the wave form is identical towards right hand side as well as left hand side both two sides it is identical this satisfies this condition it means x of minus t is equal to x of t whereas from the origin the both are identical at right hand side as well as left hand side because for t by 2 we have amplitude of we have amplitude of 1 as well as at minus t by 2 it is also amplitude of 1 Okay, this is example for a symmetrical signal. We can take one more example. This is an example for discrete time signal which is an even signal. Here we observe for, for n number of signals. Okay, for n is equal to 1, amplitude of signal is 1 whereas at minus 1 the amplitude of signal is also 1 so it will satisfy the condition for both x of minus n is equal to x of n for all values of n same as here 
yet n of 1 the amplitude is 1 whereas at n of minus 1 the amplitude is also same 1 similarly at n of n is equal to minus 2 the amplitude of this signal is 2 similarly at n is equal to plus 2 the amplitude of signal is 2 so we can take one more example then x of t is equal to a cos omega t whereas x of minus t is equal to a cos minus omega t so it can be written as x of minus t is equal to a cos omega t okay then x of minus t minus t is equal to x of t so that's why this will satisfy this condition okay next for odd signals Let us see what is the odd signal. A signal x of t and x of n. x of t and x of n. Is said to be odd signal if they are anti-symmetrical. They are anti-symmetrical about the origin. Okay, anti-symmetrical about the origin. If you observe from the origin, the waveform will be look like anti-symmetrical, which means x of minus t is equal to minus x of t for all values of t. Whereas x of minus n for discrete signal equal to minus x of n for all the values of n. Let us take an example to understand this odd signal. This is the continuous time signal with example for odd signals. If we observe from the origin, if we observe from the origin, we can see the waveform is anti-symmetrical. The waveform is anti-symmetrical. Okay, so we can call this as an odd signal. Okay, this is the example of discrete time signal which is anti-symmetrical. This is a continuous time signal and now I am going to give an example for a discrete time signal this is the example for a di discrete time signal which is anti-symmetrical okay see th this is different from even signal so you observe waveform always uh, signal is zero which means that odd signal is always passing through origin here also the signal is passing through origin okay then it will be x of t with another example a sin omega t where x of minus t is equal to a sin minus omega t x of minus t is equal to 
minus a sin omega t where x of minus t is equal to minus x of t is equal to minus x of t if we observe the waveform always t is equal to 0 or n is equal to 0 then odd signal is 0 which means that odd signal is passing through the origin okay the odd signal is always passing through the origin signal is always be equal to 0 then the odd signal is always is equal to 0 This is very very important property of a odd signal which we need to remember. Okay, thank you for your watching. If you have any doubts regarding these, you can comment me on my comment section. Thank you.